We're here at historic Lambeau Field, and the fans are ready to go. A much-anticipated matchup of NFC North teams as Green Bay gets ready for their battle against Minnesota. They're lined up for the kickoff, so let's get today's game started. Thomas well, in to kick this one off. off to start the game. The kick sails out of the end zone. The Packers will start the drive from the 20 yard line. First Ball on their own 20. Ball on the 20 yard line. Minnesota using three linebackers. It's the toss to the right. Smith is there on the stop at the 20. The defense held their positions and didn't let him get very far. So it's second and ten. We're talking about McGahee in the backfield. Hold the look. It's a blitz. Under pressure, he can't escape. The veteran slips in there and gets the sack. Hey, you still got to give him a lot of respect. His moves haven't diminished that much, and he still makes impact plays. After the sack, they'll be looking at third and long here. Keep it up. Keep it in front of him. Gets the pass off. He hits his car. That play won't help their third down conversion percentage today. I wonder what the receiver was thinking. Running a route that wasn't going to put him past the first down marker anyway. Very solid defensive effort to force the three and out. Won't take a chance trying to return this one. Fair catch made at the 38 yard line. First and ten. Will start the drive at the 38 yard line. First and ten. Out of the eye formation. Gives the ball off. Crowder comes up to make the play. Williams handles his way forward for what appears to be a two yard pick. Ball on their own 39. Ball on the 39 yard line. Gets the pass off. This pass is incomplete. Harn ran the short pattern but couldn't pull it in. Gamble was there on the coverage. Third and eight. Ball on the 39 yard line. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. Not today. The defense lines up in the nickel. Pressure coming. Looking left with a long pass. In and out of his hands. That's a little surprising. The receiver's coach has been spending extra time with all his guys on offense working on mechanics and their technique. He told me that he's seen a big improvement. But a big drop on third down like that shows that they still need a little more work. Good defensive stand there. Now they'll punt it away after a three and out. And he chooses not to return this one. The ball on their own 21. The drive at the 21 yard line. First and 10. Minnesota goes with a four man front. Go with a draw. Lever comes up to make the play at the 24-yard line. Mixon runs with passes, keeps the defense on. Gain of three. Right. 
Ball on their own 24. Ball on the 24 yard line. The Vikings come out in a 4 3. Brown, Smith is there for the tackle at the 26. The game battles his way forward for what appears to be a two yard pickup. Third and five. Ball on the 26 yard line. Blue there, blue there. Minnesota comes out in their nickel pack. They'll run this one. Lake stops him short of the marker. Brought it down and ran with it, but couldn't find any room. This is a guy who's willing to run with it any time on any down in any situation. This time the defense was ready, and they got him before he could get very far. Mormon will come in now to punt it away. Marshall back to return. Seven-yard line. Thirty-three-yard punt. Return for a gain of one yard. The First and ten. Will start the drive at the thirty-nine-yard line. First and ten. Let's turn it up. The Packers come out in a nickel players. package. Keep the throttle down. All on us, y'all. They're coming with the blitz. Steps up. The defense has it. Puts it on the ground. The Vikings grab the live ball. And you know the defense is very angry at that missed opportunity. So after the interception now, it's first and ten. A little misdirection. Is there for the tackle at the 44 yard line? He came with a blitz and there wasn't anywhere to go. Yeah, and that's why you send all those guys to plug up the hole. At that time, there were no holes at all. Ball on the 44 yard line. Ball on the 44 yard line. What's green? You turn it up. Number 12 spreads them out. We're talking about green. Drops back. Gets rid of it. He couldn't find a receiver, so he threw it where no one could get it. Third down play upcoming to convert. They have to get it to the 32. Green Bay comes out in the quarter defense. Gets the pass off. Comes up to make the play at the 18. He brings it in for a big game. Almost every wide receiver gets better at running routes as they get older. And this guy's no exception. Let's see what they can do in the red zone. Ball on the 18-yard line. Jackson comes in motion. Looks like someone jumped early. Let's start on the offense. Number 68. Still first down. Flag for the false start. False starts are kind of frustrating because they're really easily avoided by just maintaining focus. So now it's first and 15 after the penalty. Green Bay comes out in their nickel package. Going to the air on first down. Getting some air under this one. Looking for his man deep. Ooh, and nearly picked off. As a defender, you don't get too many opportunities like that. And when you're able to get two hands on it in your end zone, you're in the perfect position. Heck, you have to make that interception. Second and 15. Ball on the 23-yard line. I want the boot. The Packers come out in a nickel package. Let's go, boys. Pressure gets the pass off. He hits his receiver. Number 12 completes the short one. About a four-yard gain on second down.
So on third down, ten. they'll be looking to get Ball it to the eight-yard line yard or line. further. Three, two. From the start, from the start. The Vikings line up in a five-receiver set this time. Closing in. He felt the pressure coming, but he couldn't get the ball out. He's got to do a better job of making his read and getting the ball out of there a little more quickly. Thomas will try to put them ahead with this field goal. Not every drive is going to get you a touchdown. So getting three was big. Now they got to go over what worked and what didn't. So the next drive, we'll get them a TD. Sails out of the end zone. They forced a three and out on the last series. Ball on their own 20. Ball on the 20 yard line. Minnesota using three linebackers. Ooh, that one will leave a mark. Hulker is getting up very slowly. It looks like he'll head toward the sideline and we'll get you an injury report as quickly as possible. Second and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. The Vikings line up in a 4 3. Little misdirection. Big tackle. He puts everything into that step. This team's always trying to get a good mix of run and pass plays. Ball on their own 24. Ball on the 24 yard. Minnesota looks like they're playing the pass as they're lined up in the dime. With the pass, number 46 is there on the stop. Number 82 comes up with the big catch on third down. He made a great move right at the line of scrimmage to give him that little bit of separation he needed. The injury sustained earlier was minor, and they expect him to return to the game after a series or two. comes up to make the play at the 35-yard line. When you run the ball in the first half, you're trying to keep the defense honest. But if you're only getting gains like that in the second half, then it puts more pressure on your passing game. Holcomb returns from being injured. Watch your eyes. Here we go. Minnesota lines up in a 4-3. Hand off to the tailback. Play action. Take off. Miss Williams is there on the stop at the 39-yard line. Brought it down and ran with it, but couldn't find any room. And that's a good play by the defensive unit. They let the play develop, and they were right there to bring him down when he decided to run. Ball on their own 39. Ball on the 39-yard line. A lot of speed on the field for the defense as they line up in the quarter. And the catch. He's made. Russell Fires complete, the and it's good for a first down. Yeah. He excels on third down. Some quarterbacks just do. First Ball on the 49-yard line. Ball on the 49-yard line. Minnesota using three linebackers. Tosses it left. Pulls it is there for the tackle. McGahee busted through for a few tough yards. And this is the eighth play of this drive. Let's turn it up, D. 
The Vikings with a four-man front. They give it to the halfback, but nothing doing that time, John, as the linebacker gets there quickly. He's one of those guys who's a sure tackler. He'll move up and play physically at the line, come on a blitz, and play the run just about as well as anyone on the defense. Third down, and to convert, they have to get it to the 39 on this play. Minnesota using three linebackers. The third, Polka is there on the stop at the 26. Nobody on this defense can make a play when they need it. Well, they keep getting them in these third down situations, which is what you want. But nobody in this drive has been able to stop them when it gets to third down. First Ball on the 26-yard line. Ball on the 26-yard line. We've reached the end of the first quarter, and the score is 3-0. Vikings. The Packers. The team has which signs, and we'll start with the second quarter. This is the 10th play of this drive. They'll go from the I formation. Hand off to the tailback. Beckett comes up to make the play with the at the 21 yard line. Yard the game. With a nice the burst board. through the middle that time. Five yard pickup. Ball on the 21 yard line. Ball on the 21 yard line. Keep it up. Watch it. The Vikings come out of the 4 3. Williams is there on the stop at the 17. The game with a nice burst through the middle that time. Five yard pickup. And this is the 12th play of this drive inside the red zone. Regular, regular, regular. So we're going to take it. So they're now inside the 20. Down by three. Kennedy comes up to make the play at the 17 yard line. The offense stalls, but they do have a chance to put three points on the board. This Adam Gutter can tie this game up if he can put it through. The veteran connecting for the field goal. The key to winning is having your drives get some sort of points for your team. They got it done on that drive. And I'm sure they'll think a touchdown for their next one. Mormon will be kicking off. Marshall back deep to return. He got all of it. They're ready to go again after that last drive ended with a field goal. First, First and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. Williams, the lone back. They give it to the halfback. Spears is there for the tackle. The defense is trying to shut down the running game early to force him to pass. We'll have to see if it works and causes him to give up on it here in the first half. Gain of three. Ball on their own 22. Ball on the 22-yard line. Knock him out. Knock it out, baby. There you go, Sam. Deuce it, deuce it. Yeah, you see me. Hand it off to the back. Merriman comes up to make the play at the 27-yard line. Running the ball consistently is the first step in creating a balanced attack. Third and three. Ball on the 27-yard line. Out of the eye formation. Go make the play. Hand it off. Nice play for it. And sack. Well, veteran linebacker bursts through and gets the sack. He's always had the uncanny ability to have success in the blitz, especially when the other team least expects it. So the line 
have to punt if we're going three and out. From the 47 yard line. Booger returns this one to the 47 yard line. They'll Ball take over about midfield. The 47 yard line. First and ten. They saw man. McGahee, the long back. Russell sends a man in motion. Here we go, baby. Regular. He gets the carry. Marshall comes up to make the play at the 40. You never know when you're going to find some room and break loose into the secondary. Ball on the 40-yard line. Ball on the 40-yard line. Danny, Danny, Danny. Russell with a man in motion. He'll keep it. Derek Smith wraps him up and now has four tackles. Here's what happened. You get a guy who can move around back there. The defense gets busy covering everyone, and they forget about the quarterback. He gets past that marker and picks up a first down. Two-yard line. Now let's have a look at what our runners have done up to this point. It's second down and a long way to go. On the 32-yard line. Clear! Clear! The Vikings come out in a dime package. He's going for it all. He was tipped. That was a pretty good throw. When the receiver was able to get to it, he just couldn't close the deal and bring it in for the catch. As they get ready for this third down play, we'll take a look at how they've done today. Russell will work out of the shotgun. Throwing. Complete for the wide receiver. Beckett is there for the tackle at the 14 yard line. Deion Branch is such a smart player. He knows defenses, he knows reads, he knows a quarterback. And when he sees a defense, he knows exactly where he's supposed to be. Ball on the 14-yard line. Hey, watch the screen. They kicked the field goal the last time they were in the red zone. A little misdirection. Smith comes up to make the play. And the 13. These plays can end up with lost yards if the defense gets through or around their blocking quickly enough. Second Down inside the 15. Ball on the 13-yard line. McGahey is the deep back. Drops back. Under pressure. Gets rid of it. He hits his receiver. Marshall is there for the tackle at the two-yard line. Now he has such a quick release, and the ball is out before anybody knows what's happening. That makes it hard for him to be sacked, and it gives the defenders less time to react. Two more yards, and they'll be in the end zone. on the two-yard line. McGahey, the deep back. Hey, watch the ball. Looking to run it here. Coy is there on the stop at the one yard line. No gain on that play as the linebacker slipped in almost unnoticed. Yeah, he did a great job getting in there. He was looking for the run before they even snapped the ball. It's second and goal at the one. I'm coming through, baby. No stop, no stop that motor. Hey, hey, oh, Jamie, come on. With the throw, it's broken up. That one could have been a touchdown. Great defensive plays like that are what separate the good defenses from the great ones. Green was his intended target. It's third and goal at the one yard line. Nice job so far on third down for the offense, and we'll see if that continues here. 
he lets it slip out of his grasp. Miller drops the pass in the end zone. Good play call. John just couldn't bring it in for what looked like a sure touchdown. He's been struggling recently with his consistency making catches. But when a quarterback can find you in the end zone and hit you in the hands, you got to come up with it. Here we go. This will take the lead. Another one that goes through. His second of the day. Adam Vinatieri makes good on the short field goal attempt after the offense drives it into the red zone. They had everything clicking at first and kind of sputtered out, but they still get points. Just about ready to kick this one away. Marshall back deep to return. This one is fielded by Marshall. The offense couldn't get anything going on their last drive, going three and out. So they have first and ten here. Hey, let's go! We're talking about win. Here comes the blitz. Pressure coming. Can't avoid the rush. Someone gets free there. Yeah, and that's one of the advantages of the 3-4 defense. They can always bring that extra rusher. And you don't know where he's coming from. It could be from the outside or the inside. It could be a linebacker or it could be a safety. And right there, it led to a sack. Ball on the 15-yard line. Here we go, baby. The Packers come out in a dime package. Gets rid of it. Broken up. He barely got that one off. Yeah, it wasn't a sack. What it did was make the quarterback adjust his throw, and it messed up his rhythm. Two-minute warning coming up. The Packers come out in the quarter defense. Pressure with the pass. My receiver has it. Crowder comes up to make the play. At the 24-yard line, John, he'll be well short of the first down. Now here's the thing. The defense had all the guys covered who were beyond the market. So it was up to the short man to make something happen after the catch, and he just couldn't do it. Comes into the game for the punt. Booker sets up to run back the punt. And so the punt goes out of bounds. First and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. A lot of speed on the field for the defense as they line up in the quarter. Hoy is there for the tackle at the 30-yard line. Passing on first down is a way of keeping the defense off balance. If you're successful, it could set up big runs on first down or any typical passing situation. Ball on the 30-yard line. Ball on the 30-yard line. Watch the snap now. Let's go, D. Let's go. The Vikings line up at a 4-3. Williams is there on the stop at the 26 yard line. McGahee picks up some tough yards there. Here's where it pays off to have a receiver that can get open quickly. You try and match him up one on one and let him do his thing to get you a first down. Third down here, they have to get it to the 22 for a first down. And we can attribute this lead to their ability to convert on third down. And it's caught. Marshall is there for the tackle at the 19. This is good communication between the quarterback and his receiver to keep the chains moving. They know where the first down marker is, and they recognize the type of coverage the defense is playing. The ball is there, and so is the catch. up to a make the play the at the 15-yard line. The game rumbles forward for a gain of four. 
the Packers call a timeout. They have two remaining. There's about one minute left. Ball on the 15 yard line. They'll go from the I formation. Setting up play action. Gets the pass off. Incomplete as the defender knocks it away. Yes, Mack for making a big play. And that was another one right there. Miller was the one they were trying to get the ball to. Here are the numbers when it comes to third down conversion. They've done very well on third down to this point. Throwing. Gets his hand on it. Two tipped passes in a row. Miller, the intended receiver on the play. Adam Vinatieri will attempt this one from 32 yards away. Vinatieri puts it right through again, his third field goal. And give credit to the kicker there. It's nice to have a guy that can make your drive worth three, even if you don't get it in the end zone every time. This one is taken by Marshall. The defense did a great job on the last series, forcing the offense to go three and out. The Vikings will start the drive at the 20-yard line. First and 10. Williams, the lone back. Wilford comes in motion. It's a blitz. The rush gets him from behind. He just ran out of time. He's got to do a better job of feeling the rush. You always want to keep your eyes downfield. But you have to know or feel when that rush is getting to you. You have to have a time clock in your head so you can get the pass off just a beat early. Only one man in the backfield. Watch him there. No more, fella. Let's go, B. Let's go. Let's turn it up, B. Yeah, you see me. Play hard and fast, baby. Everything you got. Look, look. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. Here we come. This side, this side. Gets rid of it. Nearly intercepted. That was a good play, turn bad play. Good because their zone defense worked well. Bad because he dropped the interception. That's one he wishes he could have back. And this should be the last play of the half. Looking to run it here. Channing Crowder found the ball carrier to make his fourth stop of the game. Nothing happening on that drive, and they'll punt it away. He signals for a fair catch. As they head to the locker room, good first half. With the score, Green Bay, nine. Minnesota, three. Minnesota, three. We're ready to begin the third quarter of play. Mormon is back and ready to put this one in the air. The kick sails out of the end zone. The Vikings will start this drive from the 20. 
Well, John, this one has clearly turned into the type of classic battle that we anticipated. You know, whenever these two teams get together, they're going to give it all they got. I don't think you're going to see either one of these teams pull away. The backs are lined up in an eye. They give it to the halfback, closing in, and sack. That's just what this defense wants. They do a good job of setting the pace and making the offense adjust to what they're doing out there. Now they're looking at second and long after the sack. Bring it up, bring it up. Defense, get ready. It's the toss to the left. Seymour is there on the stop at the 20 yard line. The best backs in the league average four to five yards a carry. But there are a lot of things that go into a successful running game. You got to have good play calling, good blocking up front, and a back that can take advantage when he sees the opening. This team has to start converting on third down if they're going to be successful. It's tipped. Oh, it's caught. The 30, the 20. The 10. Touchdown, Minnesota. I'll tell you, this is nice work by both the quarterback and the receiver in his play. Watch it here. He reads the coverage, looks for the best option, and then throws it to him. The point after is good. Big opening drive, moving down the field and putting it into the end zone. That's excellent execution by the guys out there on offense. They look confident, moved the ball, and found the end zone. That's a great way to start the second half. He's just about ready to kick this one away. This one is fielded by Booker. Both teams have played pretty well so far. It's still anyone's game. The Packers will start the drive at the 20-yard line. First and 10. Minnesota lines up in a 4-3. With the throw, drops the interception. Green was the intended recipient on that short throw. Smith with the coverage. Second to 10. Ball on the 20 yard line. The Vikings come out of a nickel packer. Throws it. It's batted away. And he throws incomplete because he had major pressure. The corner came on a blitz and he sprinted for the quarterback. Guys love the opportunity to get a sack. And that time he just missed taking him down. Third and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. Let's go. The defense has had difficulty stopping them on third down. With the pass. Personal foul. Walking the pass. Number 90. So the penalty on third down does go against the defense, and the result is a first down. First and 10. Ball on the 35 yard line. There we go. All day, baby. Come on. Minnesota goes with a four man front. And off to the tailback. is there for the tackle at the 46. Holcomb appears to have sustained an injury and will make his way to the sideline under his own power. Ball on their own 46. Ball on the 46-yard line. Let's 
Minnesota lines up in a 4 3. What's the hard count? With the counter play, Derek Smith is in on the tackle for the sixth time. He was looking for a place to run, but all those places were filled up with guys waiting to tackle him. Six second down and eight to go. All on the 48 yard line. Watch each other back. Receives the handle. Smith comes up to make the play at the 48. A big part of this guy's running style is to use the blockers to set up his cut. But they were nowhere to be found on that run. Ball on their own 48. In regard to the injury, they have decided to keep him on the sideline at least for now. And his return appears to be doubtful. Russell sends a man in motion. Danny, Danny, Danny. Hey, watch the ball. Throwing. Incomplete. Green Bay can't keep their drives going, John. They failed on six third downs. Yeah, they're not calling their best plays on third down, and they're predictable, which makes it easier for the defense to make the stop. They're calling for the punter again, his third kick tonight. Fair catch. Flags are down, and this one appears to be on the offense. On the receiving team, number 35. Penalties and takeaways can really kill a team. Usually the team with the fewest mistakes out there will win the game. First, First and ten. Ball on the ten-yard line. That's great. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. The Vikings come out in the bunch formation. Throws it. This pass is incomplete. A little too much touch. Second and ten. Ball on the ten yard line. Not today. You like to crack the rules. Out of the eye formation. On the carry. Sanders comes up to make the play. And now our viewers can see how successful each team's main running threat has been today. Third and four. Ball on the 16 yard line. Hold the look. Keep moving. Go ahead. Good shoot. Aimed it off to the back. Number 90 is there for the tackle at the 25-yard line. Great run there. That'll be a first down. He really ran well there. He gets some great blocks, and he has patience as he picks up the first down. First Ball on their ten. own 25. Ball on the 25-yard line. It's showtime, baby. Hey, let's go one deep. Come on. William is the deep back. Under pressure. Down he goes. Marcus Spears sucks his way into the backfield and takes him down for the second time. Second and 15. Ball on the 19 yard line. Everything you've got. Alert. Fire back. They'll go from the shotgun. Drops back. Throwing. Knocked away. So they lose out on an opportunity to pick up solid yardage. Third and 15. Ball on the 19 yard line. Nobody in the backfield and five receivers. Pressure coming. Gets the pass off. This pass is incomplete. And they don't pick up nearly enough for the first down, John. I'll tell you, this is such an odd decision. You've got to be able to execute a play with deeper options when you've got third and long. Brown is ready to punt this one away. Booker is the deep return man. From the 44. No one has really taken control so far in this one. It's still anyone's game. First and 10. 
ball on the 46 yard line. Minnesota comes out in a 4 3. This one is handed off. Lieber comes up to make the play at the 49. He might not be busting off big game, but those linemen are really working hard down there. Ball on the 49 yard line. Ball on the 49 yard line. Defense, get ready. Minnesota lines up in a 4 3. Here we go, baby. Go make a play. Pressure with the pass. And it is there for the tackle at the 34 yard line. That powerful arm brings them a first down this time. Yeah, and you talk about putting some heat on your throws. This guy really let it go. First Ball on the 34 yard Ball line. On the 34 yard line. Let's go, boys. Only one man back. Pass play here on first down. Big man gets in there for a big sack. He's got a great combination of size and move. He won't be winning any races, but he's good at getting after the quarterback. And let me tell you, you never want him to be the guy falling on top of you. Following the sack, it's second and long. Minnesota comes out in a dime package. Drops back. Gets the pass off. He hits his receiver. They'll spot this one at the 31. Walker makes the catch but doesn't get very far. And that's what the mark of a solid defense is. They close in on you in a hurry, and they don't miss tackle. Third down, and they'll have to try to get it to the 24-yard line to pick up a first down. Hey, watch the screen. With the carry, setting up play action, throwing. Pass ball's incomplete. Coy, Wetson, causing the incompletion. I'll tell you, there are plenty of guys in the league who take pride in making hits like that, especially when it causes an incompletion. Adam Vinatieri will try to give his team the lead with his field goal attempt. He's been good on four field goal attempts. He's one of those guys who really works hard at what he does. And you can see that hard work paying off when you make a kick like this one. He got all of it. The momentum has been going back and forth so far. This one looks like it's going to be a close game right till the end. First Ball on their own 20. Ball on the 20 yard line. Nothing. They don't get nothing. Cross play to the right. Drop in the backfield for a short loss. That was a lack of execution from the offense. When the plan is to take it to the outside around the corner, you need to pick up some key blocks. Ball on their own 18. Ball on the 18 yard line. Hey, watch that screen! Only one man back. Drops back, throwing. And he hits his target. Clark, Clark makes the catch, goes for about three yards. It'll bring up third down. Ball on their own 22. Ball on the 22 yard line. On the 10, 10. Green Bay comes out in their nickel package. Fumble. The Vikings 
pick up the fumble. The ball was loose in the backfield, but the offense is able to jump on it first. Whoa, got lucky that time. That's a real heads-up play. Will come in now to punt it away. Booker sets up, waiting for the punt. From the 42-yard line. It's still pretty early, but it's been an even game so far. We'll have to see who can take control on this drive. The Packers will start the drive at the 45-yard line. First and ten. Walker goes in motion. He hands it off. Smith is there for the tackle. McGee runs it through the middle again of about six. Ball right around midfield. Defense lines up in the nickel. He gets the count. Ratliff is okay. there on the stop at the 46. So after that run, we can see how the two main threats on the ground have fared so far. Third down to convert. They have to get it to the 45-yard line. Minnesota lines up in a 4-3. Closes it out to the left. Derek Smith makes the stop, and they'll be short of the marker. Green Bay falters again on third down, John. And you know something? This is why teams lose games. They do some things right, but then when they need the big play to help win the game, they fall apart. Comes into the game for the punt. Marshall looks like he's ready for the return. And he chooses not to return this one. This one hasn't been decided yet. Each of these teams have played fairly well on both sides of the ball. So I could see this one getting decided by whoever has the last possession. First and ten. Gets the call. Crowder comes up to make the play. At the five-yard line, Williams takes it up the middle for a yard or two. So we've reached the end of the third quarter with the Packers ahead of the Vikings. 12-10. The Vikings begin this final quarter with possession of the ball, needing a field goal to move out in front. Second and nine. They'll go from the I formation. Hand it off. Jackson is there on the stop at the six. So let's take a look at how this back compares to the opposition. Here is a third and long situation. Hey, watch the screen. Here we go. The Vikings line up in a five receiver set this time. Almost picked off. Sometimes in zone coverage, a quarterback will throw to a spot where his receiver is supposed to be. That time, the only one there was a defender who couldn't make the catch. So as we get set for the punt, let's take a look at our returner's stats. Nothing happening for the offense. They're forced into a three and out. This one goes out of bounds. Ball on the 46-yard line. Ball on the 46-yard line. 
Minnesota goes with a four-man front. Hand it off. Leave it is there for the tackle. With the carry. Again, this is way forward for what appears to be a two-yard pickup. Ball on the 43-yard line. Ball on the 43-yard line. The Vikings come out in a 4-3. With a counter play, Trevor Price stopped him for his third tackle so far. No place to run on that one. And the thing is, when you don't get underneath the defensive line, you're not going to have the leverage that needed to knock them off the ball. And that time, the defense had all the leverage. Third down play here. They have to get it to the 36. The Vikings come out with three down linemen and seven defensive backs. Gets rid of it. Incomplete. Green Bay comes up short on third down, and that's been the recurring theme here today. They're just not getting into good third down situation, which means that they have problems on first and second down. Mormon will do his best to get this one inside their five. And he signals for the fair catch. This is just the kind of situation they were hoping for. Now all they need to do is put together a last-minute drive, and they're going to come away with a win. And now it's up to the defense to shut them down. First and ten. Ball on the five-yard line. Watch your eyes. Be careful. Williams in the backfield. Give it to the halfback. See who is there for the tackle. John, the coaches are always talking about his intensity and awareness. And those are the type of plays where you see those qualities really showing themselves. He's a cornerstone of this defense. He always seems to be in the right position to make the play. Gives the ball off. Polamalu comes up to make the play at the 12-yard line. So that was a pickup of about nine. Ball on their own 12. I think this defense looks forward to these third down situations because they've been stopping them today. Hey, if you can keep running the ball in the fourth quarter as you're playing catch up, that's an advantage that you have over the defense because it keeps them off balance. Let's go. Hey, score, score, score. Check it. Yeah, oh. Receives the handoff. Crowder is there on the stop at the 24-yard line. Williams takes advantage of a little daylight, picks up three yards. Second and seven coming up here. All on the 24 yard line. With a counter play. We're going to spot this one at the 26 yard line. He wraps him up and now has four tackles. And here's what they've been able to do so far on third down. The Packers come out in a nickel package. Drops back. Gets the pass off. Polamalu comes up to make the play. This is a guy who comes to play. And he seems to make big catches when they really need him. This time they needed to convert on third down. And he's there for the reception and the first down. Play of this drive. Ball on the 37-yard line. Under 10, 10. Here we go. 
They give it to the halfback. Number 90 is there for the tackle at the 43. Williams runs it through the middle again of about six. Ninth play of this drive. Ball on the 43 yard line. it off. Jackson stops him short of the marker. They're trying to pick up the first down on the ground, but they're short. I have to question that call. They're losing the game, and they aren't in field goal run, but they still run the ball. Brown is ready to pump this one away. Booker is back to receive this kick. From the 12. Booker takes the punt to the 19. Ball on their own 19. The Vikings line up at a 4-3. And off to the tailback. Beckett is there on the stop at the 25-yard line. McGay kept his legs moving, gets seven hard-earned yards. Ball on their own 25. Ball on the 25-yard line. Everything you've got. Slack going. They both left. Let's turn it up, D. Hey, let's go. Let's go, baby. Need a hammer, not a nail. Be careful. Where we go, baby? Work and work. Defense, get ready. Blue game, blue game. Keep moving. Hand it off. Fuses to go down. Right, comes up to make the play. This is tough running here. Let's watch him as he gets through right here. And he breaks a tackle and keeps moving forward. I tell you, this guy's hard to bring down. Come out in a 4 3. Let's go. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Oh, no, dude. Hey, hey. I'm coming through, baby. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. We're going to take it. Hey, watch the screen. Watch this. You got to have it, dude. Keep moving. Keep it up. Hey, get it started. Tucks it away. Then it is there for the tackle. Attack the 40. Gain of two. Third down and four coming up on this one. The 40 yard line. Let's go. Here we go, baby. Rock and roll. The Vikings with a four man front. Deuce it, deuce it. Receives the handoff. Lieber is there on the stop at the 47 yard line. Look at that big guy go. Yeah, he took it and he started rumbling down the field. He didn't stop until he had a first down. First Ball on their team. own 47. Ball on the 47 yard line. No need for anything else but taking a knee here to finish this one out. Ball 
on their own 45. Minnesota comes out in a 4-3. Might have been early movement up front. Walker moves a little early there. Yeah, the rule for the offensive line is once you put your hand down, you can't move until the ball snaps. So we'll have a second and long after the penalty. All right, let's go. Here we go, baby. The Vikings go, come out in a 4-3. the tailback they're going to spot this one at the 50 yard line he wraps up the ball carrier and his tackle total is now four will come in now to punt it away. Marshall lines up deep for the punt return. Fair catch called for. Fair catch made at the 15 yard line. Go, 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 First and 10. We'll start the drive at the 15 yard line. First and 10. Dropping back to pass on first down. Throws it. And the catch. Gamble comes up to make the play at the 32-yard line. So after that nice catch and run, here's a look at his stats. So it was a very close game and a good job done by both defensive units. For EA Sports, this is Al Michaels and John Madden wishing you a very pleasant good evening.